You're welcome back and I'm moving on to business news. The directive issued by the Corporate Affairs Commission to register point of sale operators in Nigeria has been criticized by the Association of Mobile Money and Bank Agents of Nigeria, AMBAN. During a press briefing in Lagos, AMBAN President Sarah Fadin Fasasi Atanda expressed, expressed his disapproval. Fasashi highlighted that since the implementation of the cashless policy and the new KYC regulations of NIN plus BVN linkage, the country has experienced a significant loss of over 1.5 million jobs and a decline in foreign direct investments. And while Amban acknowledges the importance of regulations, they believe that certain policies have hindered the government's financial inclusion agenda, particularly impacting on bond individuals in rural areas. Um, we have the opinion that um, as we grow uh, in, uh, in the drive for financial inclusion, uh, our regulation also needs to step up in terms of how do you manage and regulate fintech. It is not about shutting down the jobs and fintech companies. So it is important to uh, understand that. So uh, another part of the losses that uh, as uh, we have recorded in the industry is actually about financial inclusion. We are aware, as at the last FINA report, uh, financial inclusion that has been a, a global agenda that has attracted a lot of funding uh, from donors across the world, um, we are able to achieve about 76% inclusion rates uh, before this year. Uh, unfortunately, with all these policies now, uh, we, are, we, are, we are estimating a drop to nothing less than 50% because we are no longer growing. Uh, we are even, uh, most of our agent network in the rural areas, we are shutting them down because of all these uh, uh, policies of, from the government. And um, it is a major concern that uh, the effort of over 10 years, uh, the investment in growing, uh, providing financial access points in the excluded rural areas in Nigeria uh, is being shattered. We, we disagree with the CAC's claim that it wants to fight crimes in the agency banking business space through registration. We believe that the kind of crimes in this space are both human and technical, which CAC legislation cannot fight. We see their effort as merely a revenue generation move to further tax applicants and Nigerians who are trying to get by. Section 18, subsection 1 of KAMA states that a person may apply to the commission for the registration of a company. And section 22, subsection 1 states that a company shall be deemed to be a separate legal entity from its members. This implies that individuals and non-individuals have different legal statuses and requirements. Moreover, the CBM policy on financial inclusion and development states that agency banking services shall be provided by agents who are individuals or non-individuals registered with the CBM. Furthermore, Amber addressed allegations made by the EFCC and some bloggers refuting claims that POS agents are responsible for cash shortages in banks and fraudulent activities through POS mobile app channels. And you are spending, as of today, you are spending over 3,000 Naira to go, 3,000 Naira to return. So if this agent has gone to MENA to withdraw cash, and you are saying that he's selling cash, because he spread the cost of sourcing the cash. And he has, he has, you know, so it is not correct. Uh, remember, during COVID, all the banks, they locked their doors. The only saving grace are these same POS agents. Even up to today, some, agents, some banks are still maintaining social distancing. Go to them, they will put tents and put you you know, outside, outside your gates. You are the owner of the money. But they, and these are things that are discouraging people from going to the banks. Ask, ask an average Nigerian, how many times have you been to the bank this year? This year. No. They will say, no, I would rather patronize an, a POS agent. I move on to my, with my business. 
there is a plan to return Nigerians back to Stone Age banking. And we should not allow this to happen. So um, we are ready to collaborate and uh, to cooperate with anybody, any government, any individual, any government agency that is interested in fishing out bad eggs within the society. And we have the network to be able to do that because our members are spread across all the local governments in Nigeria. All the wards. We have people all around the places. So we are able to give the necessary intelligent information that will help the government to fight all these bad eggs, to fish them out. And we still maintain that. Registration cannot fight that.